My name is Conrad Blickensdorfer, and I am the Editor-in-Chief of RuggedPCReview.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about trends that we're seeing in uh, panel PCs. And uh, panel PCs, of course, are not exactly fashion items. They don't change every year, but they do change over time. So one of the trends that may be of importance to many ap applications is that panel PCs are thinner and lighter than they used to be. That's primarily due to the miniaturization of uh, components. For example, you no longer have big, heavy hard disks inside. Uh, you just have uh, either smaller SATA two and a half inch disks, or you may have uh, uh, solid state disks that are basically just modules. So that allows manufacturers to make these panels uh, thinner and they may fit in places where they may not have fit before. Another thing we're seeing is that um, panel PCs uh, are now available with a much wider uh, range in performance. We're seeing some uh, panels with uh, low end chips. We're seeing some of them with very high end chips. So the, there's a large impact in, in cost and, and, and performance also in cooling. And uh, panels that uh, before may not have been available uh, fast and powerful enough to handle some of your applications, now it can have them. Um, another thing that's interesting is that even low-end chip, inexpensive uh, chips are now appearing in panel PCs and they are amazingly strong performers. Like uh, in the past, you pretty much needed a core processor for some of the higher end applications. Today, you can, uh, you should probably take a look at some of Intel's latest Celeron and Pentium chips, and even Atom processors, or inexpensive Atom processors can get the job done. Um, another change that we're seeing now is that, whereas in the past, uh, most panel PCs used resistive touch screens, we're now seeing a switch, a gradual switch towards um, capacitive multi-touch, the same technology that everybody's familiar with from uh, their, uh, their tablets, uh, you know, their, their obviously their phones. It's uh, not a, 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 an application that's for everyone, but in many panels, we're seeing now capacitive touch as the standard. Now, if you are interested in capacitive uh, touch technology, multi-touch, make sure that the front has a flush bezel so that your fingers are not going to bop into, you know, a raised bezel around it, which makes it difficult to uh, work with ProCap. Ever since the start of the pandemic, uh, we're seeing obviously a new emphasis on easy cleaning and disinfection of, of all electronic equipment. And that also means that in panels, uh, you, you're no longer seeing some of the gaps that you saw before between the, the bezel and, and the screen. Everything needs to be nice and flush so it's easy to clean. And all of the display surfaces are now uh, uh, sh should be resistant to the industrial cleaners that are being used to, to, to clean these uh, pieces of equipment. So they need to be resistant to those cleaning agents. Um, if you are interested in or interested, everybody's interested in it, but uh, to, to keep your equipment nice and clean. Also ask your vendor about uh, available microbial, antimicrobial treatments and materials. There are now uh, uh, antimicrobial agents that have been tested to eliminate most of the surface uh, microbes. And uh, that's gonna be uh, more and more important as time goes on. Uh, we're also seeing some interesting innovations that some companies like, like uh, Winmate, you know, one of the specialists in panel PCs are coming up. Like, for example, uh, generally uh, panel PCs are just a panel, there's like no controls and so on, but we're now seeing uh, push buttons on some panels and uh, they can be used as a, like a, a red button. It says emergency on it so that the operator, if something happens, instead of going through a menu and, 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 or making a phone call, they just bang, push that button and uh, help is on the way. Uh, sometimes you may have different color buttons. There could be a green, a yellow, and the red button, and they can be assigned to certain functions, certain functionality. 
We're also seeing some tablet PC, Winmate has one of those that has a rotating knobs so that you can you know, just adjust certain things with your hand rather than, again, rather than just go into a menu, which is sometimes uh, slower and less com uh, more cumbersome. Um, some other things that we're seeing is uh, interesting new things. Uh, there are LED status illumination bars around the perimeter of the screen. We made S series uh, HMI panels are uh, an example. So uh, these these uh, LED panel uh, strips, they can be any color. They can flash yellow or red or green. Uh, flash and uh, one color on one side and, and uh, another color on the other side. And again, you can use that as uh, an indicator, warnings uh, for status. It just simply adds to the functionality of those panels. Um, something which you may want to consider if uh, power supplies are an issue. Uh, some of the latest uh, panel PCs, it's been around actually for a while, but we're seeing it more and more is power over ethernet. Uh, for example, Winmates S series HMIs, they, uh, they can be had with a uh, power over ethernet. And there are some very tangible benefits because if you have a lot of panels and they're in, in difficult locations, um, not having to install power outlets behind the, the, the panels, uh, you know, a, a large number of them is certainly an advantage. It can minimize the cost. Yeah. And it also minimizes the, the number of uh, wires that you're seeing. Uh, as far as connectors goes, that's not usually that much of an issue because the connectors of the panel PCs are usually inside the panel. So, uh, you know, vandalism and stuff like that is not generally an issue. But um, if, there, if it can be an issue, then uh, uh, there are waterproof connectors. There are M industrial grade M12 screw on connectors or click on connectors. They won't come off and they're far more durable than industry standard connectors. Something else which uh, is, is interesting that we're seeing is the emergence of USB type C. Uh, the, the USB type C of course are those uh, small little uh, USB uh, ports that are reversible. So, uh, you know, if you have a, a, a USB port on the face of your panel PC, it could be a USB-C type uh, connector. So, you know, you don't have to go this way and that way until you finally get it right, they're reversible. And they also support audio video, they can support uh, display port connectivity, and even PoE. So those are just some of the things that we've been seeing. Uh, check them out. Uh, they may fit into your future plans and certainly keep an eye out because even panel PCs are being improved and it, uh, 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 made more functional all the time. Thank you so much.